Thank you for staying with us. Uh, two pieces, what are you laughing at? I'm sorry, it's just my brain. It's all right, I'll tell you afterwards. <laughs> We're married. <laughs> right, two pieces of good news for you. Uh, if you were one of the 12 million people who religiously tuned in to watch Dempsey and Makepeace every week back in the 80s, one, the series is being repeated, two, the stars of what had to be Britain's most glamorous cops and robber show, Glynis Barber and Michael Brandon, say that they'd be very interested <laughs> in making new episodes. Here's how it used to go. seem to care. Or he was told not to. Now Davis, on the other hand, I'm sure does, even though he doesn't show it. Which may mean he really does care. Have you noticed how Davis reacts every time her name is mentioned? Mm. It's definitely got the fever. Ah, oh, that's sexual chemistry. <laughs> Michael and Guinness, nice to see you. That's being rerun now on satellite. Uh, so it's a great series. It was fantastic. And it was all the more fascinating for all of us who watched because we knew there was something going on for real. Yes, it was a soap opera all of its own, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> was it? I mean, did you, did you hit it off right? From, didn't you both dislike each other to some extent? Oh, when he was you first horrible. Met? I was horrible, horrible he was. <laughs> Why was he horrible? I loathed him. What, sort of full of himself, an American? Oh, he was terribly American. Oh, we're going to take sides here. Is that <laughs> oh, yes. what's going to happen? Girls okay, you've got to sit over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was a yank, wasn't he? Over here, over there. He was, right. he was. And I'd only worked with one before. I'd never been to America or met many Americans, really. Yeah. And I'd only, I'd done one film with an American who shall be nameless. And it was a horrific experience. And yeah. when they said you're going to be doing this series with an American, yeah. And everyone said, oh, don't worry, I'm not, you know, not all Americans are like that. And then I went to meet him at the, the Ritz Hotel and I came back to my boyfriend that I was living with and he said, well, how was he? I said, he, he's my worst nightmare come true. He's exactly, Which you know, what I was dreading. To hear, let's face it, yeah. I think so, on some subconscious level, so, yeah. our inner beings knew. She, so, was, yeah. she it, was fighting it. That was it, you know what I mean? You're in and denial. So, the current, yeah. And all that happened. So, but did you know as soon as you saw her then, or did you...? Well, actually, um, I found an old journal, because mm -hmm. when I, I came over here, I sort of like said, okay, I'm coming over to 11 hours of mm -hmm. this show. I didn't know I was going to be here for seven years, you know. <laughs> and and um, we met, and I, I, I found this old journal. I read it, and I said, oh, good looking. I like it. She's got a spark. And then I said, watch out. Yeah. It wrote this watch out and really? I underlined it, you know. Uh, really? Yeah, found it years later. So, uh, something spot. So, how long did it, wasn't it a night, a night out at the theatre with mutual friends that started to, to build a, a, a kind of personal bond between you? Well, yes, about, it was, but that was about a year later, though. Yeah. And, well, well, I had this boyfriend that I was living with and then we broke up. And uh, so he asked me to go to the theatre one night, so I... I did? I went with him. <laughs> and oh, because you're, you're on screen doing Dempsey and Makepeace. I mean, the press must have gone, the paparazzi must have gone mad seeing you two out Well, together. they did. The oh. first time they, they saw us together, they just sort of couldn't <laughs> believe it. You know, yeah, this is just too good to be amazing. true. Yeah. So, um... So where was the first kiss? Oh. Well, I'll tell you what, I was in the back of the taxi. My memory. Okay, so there we are. Share with you. Yeah. Yeah. Share with us, all right? No. <laughs> <laughs> go on, I can't then. remember, No, she actually. can't remember. Well, I remember is this. We... She hated my guts. When we left to go do the American tour... No, no, hold on. Tour, I would like to actually vet the story first. Do you want to hear it first? <laughs> no, yes. No, I... We'll discuss this. We'll tell you afterwards. <laughs> we can argue about it later. See, we never agree on anything. <laughs> yeah. I think that's where it's... You know, that's yeah. what it all started. See, yeah. when we get all these scripts, um, they were written for... Originally for a Dempsey... James Dempsey III. The yeah. original rich character American was a ca rich American. Capitalist. When I read this, I said, this, the idea could be great, but this is not, you know, and so we met, and I told him my idea for this, and why, if I, you know, was to do this, this is how I think it should be. A real, yeah. a guy from the gutter, diamond in the rough, they meet, Lady Harriet, and so... Yeah, because, mm, yeah, because your character is very, very upper crust. Yeah. So they came back yeah. from the airport mm. and said, let's talk about that again, and that's how it changed. When I got here, they handed me all these scripts that had already been written. Yeah. See, so I, I, I was changing a lot of the dialogue which was like pulling up in front of this stately home, this castle, I don't know, is hers. I don't know, she's a lady, you know, and I said, whoa, look at this, you know. 
If I lived in those days, I'd have been a knight in shining armor. She goes, Dempsey, if you lived in those days, you'd be shining the armor at night. You know? <laughs> and, and, and she goes, well, it needs another life. I said, what do you mean? It works fine. No, it doesn't. And we get into these things, you see. Yeah. Anyway, 